Hey, Sean. Nice. That's how uh, you know we're a few reviews deep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought about doing it on every video, and I just didn't. I'm just going to give you that. I'm just going to pause every video from now on to the end of time. What? So it's this whole video cast is going to be on you. And if you don't say it, we're just going to sit here in silence every single review. We're never going to drink a beer. I'm never going to hit stop record. We're not going to be able to go to work. I'll open the can. I'll pour the beer. I'll drink it, and you can fuck off. Fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) Um, In that case, we have a beer that we have been dying to get on to get a hold of again. Well, it's not a beer. It's a variant of beers, or it's a style of beers that is being done by a brewery out in Columbus, Indiana, called 450 North. This is their slushy series. This is juicy, fruity, slushy. Juicy fruity. I guess they had to uh, probably not say juicy fruit, right? I suppose they could do it with the, the eye. Oh, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't know how copyright works. This is courtesy of Eric and Eric at Mosky Homebrew. Um, before this video comes out, you will definitely see my unboxing, um, including the surprise that was in the box. Mm. It's a big surprise. You guys are hilarious. It's a little surprise. By the way, other Eric, hope you love all the galaxy beers. <laughs> I actually need to time this video to make sure that other Eric doesn't... He needs to give him these beers before this video is released. So this is this, this video is probably going to have to come out later. Mm. <laughs> we fucked it up. Whatever. Or I'm just going to cut all this out, and then you're definitely going to be surprised. Anyways, this, like I said, Juicy Fruity Slushy. This is a smoothie sour balloon advice with passion fruit, peach, apricot, pineapple, and tangerine coming in at uh, 4.5%. Goddamn, son. I'm going to roll this like this. And uh, we definitely had, like, a couple slushies. We did a couple at my last apartment. Yes. Before I bought my house. I think we had some here and at your last apartment. We had a varying um, of regular slushy. So regular slushy is the lower ABV. Um, this is, like I said, this is 4.5%. We have another slushy is like 6%. So I think then the slushy XL are like double territory. So 8%. Um, so give it a, it's comparable to like an IPA, double IPA, right? Yeah, ish. Did you like Juicy Fruit Commons, kid? Yeah, of course. I never can't. I I didn't. I always went with spearmint or like Mint. red. Oh, red. I I did do big red. red. Big red. Big red. Big red. Um, I I definitely did more. I was I was definitely a more minty person. So you did um, the spearmint, the green one. Spearmint or like just peppermint or whatever. Oh, oh you the think- white one. The white one was peppermint. Yes. Yeah, it was the white one that I used to... Yeah, well, well, the white in, 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 like, what was it, like, frog green or aqua green? Green, experiment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Juicy Free was, it was never the one I always went to, but I was never upset about having it. My head looks... Like, yellow. Yeah, right? Like, mine doesn't. Is there... Is it? Is it what's left in the... Interesting. Yours has a little hint of yellow. No, it's a not. little bit, but yours, like, I'm mine's looking like, at it over like here, and I'm yellow. like, all right, let's look at this real quick. So this looks like, yeah, look at Mike's. Yeah, yours, yours, mine looks dude. Like, like, like custard. Yeah, yours totally looks like custard. That's amazing. <laughs> um, yours is weird. So yeah, this looks like, yours has a custody looking head. This looks, and this beer itself looks like the last couple IPAs we did, but this is not an IPA. It is a Berliner Vice. It's a little more orange, though. Yeah. A little more burnt orange. Yeah. Uh, as it comes through on the camera, kind of pretty much comes through naturally. It's so funny what lights do. It's weird. Science. It's got a nose. Yeah. So it smells like fruit punch. <laughs> <laughs> a little peach here, though. Yeah. So Mike was like, all right, can we just do one of those slushies with the one without peach? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I was like, ah, I can't do this one. Oh, nope, that one said, no, first thing I put up was like the peach one. It literally had peach in big letters. And I was like, oh, can't do this one. And he's like, let's do the juicy one. And I was like, peach. And I was like, and I was like let's do that one. Oh, that, that's peach too. Yeah, but then, I, I mean, I knew it had peach when I picked it up. I was just hoping it would be less peach forward. And it is not. But it is funny, though, looking at the, the glass as the head dissipated, you can see the, the, oh, the, yeah. the fruit pectin. Yeah, yours is, because you got the, you got, I, I rolled it, though. Everyone saw it. Yeah, they said, she was like, I rolled it here. Be a little more. Uh, it right. smells. It smells like guava, though. Guava and peach. There's no guava in this. It smells like guava, though. 
Pineapple, pineapple tangerine makes sense. And yeah. with the Berliner fruit. Weiss <laughs> yeah. thing in there, that little... I'm, I'm definitely getting like pure guava, though. Yeah, it smells straight up guava. I mean, it smells, like, really, it smells like, really good, Like, though. I've bought the guava, like the um, Goya guava juice, and this is what it smells like. <laughs> I don't know. Cheers. Just a... Looks like idiots, but whatever. How do they do this? How do they... Why is no one else doing these beers? So, we've had three beers before this. Mm-hmm. Pretty big ABVs. Yeah. What we need to do is literally pop these beers by themselves and just drink them through the course of a night. And then if we don't get drunk, it's clear they're clearly just canning juice and selling it as beer. Good call. And carbonating it. Good call. Yeah, right? It just tastes like fruit juice. A little bit of sour. But some fruit sour. So. You could give this to a child and they would drink it. Your daughter would drink this for sure. Actually, she doesn't really like juice, which is interesting. Your daughter sucks. Do you want juice or, do you want juice or water? Water. Oh, I guess that's a huh, parenting. That's so weird. It is so fucking strange. Humble brag. <laughs> this tastes like a brunch drink. Mimosa? This tastes like a brunch drink. Not like, like the blackberry slushy tastes like fucking juice. This has a little bit of a hint of something else. This tastes almost like, like a brunch drink. Like more juice than so the man most at Moonstones, which is orange boozy. juice and, and it, the half. It, 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 more more juice. This is more juice than beer. Yeah, for sure. But it, it just it tastes I really think about this for a second. How good it would be this be like with fucking eggs and Oh yeah. And French toast and shit. Just this. Yeah. Dude, this now that we're talking about this, this legit looks like orange juice. It does. It, 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 actually, it looks like a mimosa. Yeah. It tastes like one, honestly. It tastes like it tastes like a a, a, a champagne and yeah. beer. Oh uh, not beer, but champagne and juice beverage. Yeah. It's got a slight bubbly carbonation. Um the way it finishes, it finishes super sweet. And I can't tell if the lip smacking. But, ha- but it has dryness to it. Yeah, it has the the dry champagne ness to it. It tastes like a, it tastes like a brunch drink. And you know when when you get like, it looks like a fucking when when you have that that, that fruit pectin mm-hmm. in the fucking glass. It's more. It's it's interesting what's in this beer and what I'm getting on it. From the nose, we got guava. I'm getting the pineapple and tangerine. I think it's more tangerine. I'm getting than anything. It's more orangey, yeah, it is. No, it orangey is. pineapple. On the nose, I'm getting guava and peach. And on the, the the taste, I'm getting I'm getting uh, pineapple, pineapple and, and orange tangerine. Yeah, yeah. apricot. It's, it's in there. I get yeah, it's in there, but it's it's predominantly taste wise, pineapple tangerine, and it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, this is like there is it's. I don't I. Uh, you could honestly, if this was not carbonated. Think about this. If this was not carbon, this is four and a half percent. If we did a blind taste, I, I I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. If we did this a blind taste with this and those Goya can things, maybe added a little bit of like cut it with like a bit, a tiny tiny bit of of um, plain seltzer water, like mm-hmm. soda water, to give it just a little bit of the extra yes. fizz that this has, and then did a blind taste test. I don't know if I could tell which is fucking what. What do you think? Could you? Yeah, I could. You think so? Yeah. But I know what you're getting at. Because I've definitely done that with the mango juice, and the mango juice tastes pretty much like fucking... It tastes like this, but with a little bit of like fizz. No, I I, I, I get what you're getting at. I, I just feel like this has a little more of that Berliner Weiss tangy. It's got a tang. Yeah, I guess know? it does have a tang. But again, so, so does some fruit, so who knows? I don't know. I just... I, I feel like... Well, let us know in the comments if you want to see that. 450 North, see. man, you guys, you guys, this is, I feel so like good. every brewery is doing something now. A lot of the hotter breweries are doing, like, like Trillium has their Seesaw series and they're doing, like, their Fruity Gozes. Other Half has their Berliners, right? They're doing the, they're doing their, the, their, their, their own Berliners that we've had. I forgot the names of them. Oh, Jesus really we, yeah, we've had some great ones. We have a double version of one in there that, yeah. that Joe from Beer Patrol gave us that we have to do. Um, and then we have these. These slushy series beers are just, the next level shit. Next level. This is a new thing for beer. Yeah. Like. Yeah, almost not beer. Yeah. 
I'm super impressed. I like this is way better than I even expected it to be. I was like, I'm like, I kind of like juicy fruit, but okay, let's let's just talk about that because we've already it probably talked, like juicy fruit. we talked about this. Yeah, okay, it doesn't right? No, but you know what it does? It tastes better. Yeah, I get it. I can see where they're going with this. Yeah, of course. Like, and yeah, if you made a, a beer taste like juicy fruit, exactly. That'd be no bueno. So I get it. This 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 is a. Uh, Makes sense name wise. I get it, and, and and their label art's always pretty damn badass. I agree. Um, we have we have a bunch of these. You saw the video, uh, and you saw the pictures. Um, Eric and Eric were very kind and sent a shitload of four fifty north. Out of all of them, only one of them was not sour. One of them was a sour IPA, which we maybe we'll do soon. But it's uh, outstanding. I mean, I cannot. It, it's unreal what this beer tastes like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we go back and look at all of all all, all of our other slushy reviews, it's pretty much the same review. Unreal. Can't believe this is it. This is juice. Um, let us know in the comments. You've had Juicy Fruity by 450 North. They're a slushy smoothie style Berlin device with passion fruit, peach, apricot, pineapple, and tangerine. And what you think of 450 North? Do a large amount of fruit in this beer. Store cold, drink fresh. Well, it, I guess uh, we, we, I, he sort of cold. Eric did, and then he sent it, and then it lasted, which is good. Um... And it still tastes delicious after being in my fridge for a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you think of the slushies in general. Let us know what you think of of of, of the of the the sour Berliner Weiss, like fruited fruited sours, fruited Berliner Weiss that 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 that's happening um, across the craft beer landscape. Uh, and what you think of them, and what you love love about them. Uh, this this is this is just amazing. And uh, nerdsense.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter for those your things. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Notification button. Ding, 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 ding. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, this is, is Nerd Fruity.